Well, hey, Pipers. Welcome back to the Base Piper Channel. Rumble, welcome back. Sorry for a little bit of noise this morning, but uh, I got the rabbit air wide open. While I sit in here and have me a round of Boswell's Sweet Dreams in my new Christmas Savinelli 320 pipe. That's my 320 I got for Christmas. That's a pretty pipe. And uh, I love that stem. And so far, my softy bit is staying in check. <laughs> it's not splitting like the last one did on my other pipe I showed you, the Phoenix by Peterson. I hope everybody's doing well uh, in the new year. And uh, I tell you, for a lot of people, the new year brought in some uh, some sickness and uh, not so much the COVID, but the respiratory head cold type of sickness that um, my wife, Base, Miss Bass Piper, was on vacation the week of Christmas. And, uh, sorry guys, I had to adjust my glasses. My new glasses, I've got to get some new nose pads. Or either get these things brought in. Sometimes those things want to slide down on your nose. So, uh, anyway, I got my hat on to keep the glare down. People want to know why you wear your hat in the inside, Bass Piper. Well, that's the reason why. I got the overhead lights going. But uh, Miss Bass Piper got sick her last four days of vacation. And a bad head cold and a little bit of fever, not feeling good, feeling like you got hit by a truck. Come find out, I had about four, five, six people in the church, some of my seniors, all going down with it. And uh, <clears throat> Christmas morning service, Christmas Eve service, was uh was kind of light well actually that was better than the new year's day service uh at church because i had more of my people down so it was a uh, it was a time and so they're, they're all kind of getting on recovery miss bass piper is doing fine she's back to work she's still a little weak from it but i uh, called this weekend, I started to have a little bit of problem with my truck, with the brakes getting a little mushy. And so I don't know if it is, uh, it doesn't look like it's the master cylinder, but it looks like uh, there might be some adjustments that need to be made on the back brakes. So, uh... going to get those looked at and uh, get those. You don't like to be riding around the road. It's not a smart thing with no brakes or your brakes are going out, put it, put it that way. But as soon as I can tell they start getting a little, or you got to press a little harder than normal, I go, okay, let's get these things checked out. But, um, but anyway, so far the new year overall has been good for Bass Piper, uh, except for a little bit of the sickness snafu that's going on. Thank God so far. I haven't come down with it yet, but uh, so I hope you've had a healthy, pretty much healthy New Year coming into the to the uh, twenty three. Um, but I just want to get on here for just a second, guys, to uh, again wish everybody a happy New Year, and uh, also uh, thank all of my subscribers and uh, that has subscribed to me over the last few months, especially the holidays. I want to give a shout out, maybe in the next couple of videos or so. I'm going to get all those lined up to give a, a shout out. But I also want us, my pipe's going out. 
I also want to uh, give a shout out a little bit for a prayer request for Doc, Preacher Man Piper. I don't know what's going on with him, just the fact that he made a little short video, if you hadn't seen it, that he's in a lot of pain. And so, uh, those of the praying kind, let's send some prayers up for Doc. And uh, sounds like he's having some health problems and had something come in, come in on him over the holidays. His new year is start out with a little bit of a rough start. So uh, let's be praying for him, guys and gals, uh, if you can. And I know some of y'all have, most of you have, but just in case you hadn't seen Doc's latest video, he said he probably wouldn't be making nothing for a little while. So let's keep him in prayer. Um, but I mentioned something in my last video, I believe, the last one or one before, that I uh, was thinking about doing a new series and uh, starting a new channel. And um, this tobacco was 2019, so it's, it's dried out a little bit. And, uh, but it starts starting to smoke now a little better. It kept going out on me. But Boswell's known for some good moisture in their tobacco, so... Uh, they uh, they hold their moisture pretty good, but um, I'm keeping an eye on. I say about three words and take a puff to keep things going. But um, I asked some of y'all to put a little comment in the ash hole of what your thoughts were of maybe what a new channel, uh, what I could do with a new channel, and give me some ideas. And I've been tossing some things around and. So I know this somewhat must be a God thing, and um, that is I had a couple of y'all comment on the fact, one commented to say, Bass Piper, you're probably best not to start a new channel, just run a series in your, in your channel you have already. And the more I thought about that, I said, well, that kind of makes, makes good sense there. I'll try that. And then some said, uh, Wade, why don't you, uh, you know, we really need something out here for the young men and uh, when I say young men, teenage uh, young men, say about 18 on up to about maybe 30, 35 years old, um, that might benefit from some of your wisdom uh, as an older man. And um, there's not a lot of good, solid life coaching um, out there um, directing in the right, some right paths. And um, I'm going to hold off, guys, so I don't have to like this again. But I got thinking about that, and, and that is somewhat of what I was leaning on. I don't want the series... Uh, I don't want to get preachy on people. <laughs> you all know I'm a preacher. And that's kind of hard to do, isn't it, when you're a preacher? But I don't want to run anybody off, okay? Uh, I know if I've got some subscribers that you may not have Christ in your life uh, or church. Uh, I don't want to run you off. Um, what I'm thinking about wanting to do is maybe once a week or when I can because life gets in the way. But you'll know when I will be talking about 
things in life. I'm going to title my new series that I want to start, and I don't know how long it will go, uh, but I'm basically going to have a new series called Senior Moments. <laughs> and um, that's basically uh, points to ponder with a senior. Um, you know, I'm 61 years old. And to some, I'm not an old fart yet, but to some I am. It depends on what age group you're in, right? But, uh, you know, I can remember not too, too long ago, I was 25, 35, then 45, then 55, and now I'm 61, and I know... Some of, us, some of you guys are older than Bass Piper. You go, well, hey, try my age. Well, that's true. But, you know, we need more, it seems like in today's world, we need more men. To step up to the plate and share some life things uh, that young men need to know and need to learn in life. We got a generation that's being bombarded by the this new woke culture and all of this mess that we have just been hammered with in the last two, really two, last couple of years. But it really started before that. The groundwork was getting laid, politically. And so, uh, you know, we're bombarded by all the mess on media and all the, for lack of better words, guys, just trash. Uh, a lot of it. Propaganda. Stuff to get you scared, get you worried, get your anxieties up. Having nervous breakdowns over stuff that's not even going to, you know, happen. Not that some of it isn't true. There's a lot of untruth. But we need to look at just helping some men out there that might be struggling with life in general and not understanding directions on where to go and not understanding life. You know, why am I going through this? You know, why is this happening? Why is that happening? And I'd like to bring it from an older guy, an older piper's perspective on life of what's happened with me. And share my belly button opinion, not that it means much, but hopefully it may help some. Um, on things in life, and I'll be, I'll be picking a topic or so for, uh, as I go along. But... Uh, I'm not going to try to get preachy on nobody. Now, I might quote a scripture here and there from the Bible that deals with life. Of course, you know, the Bible is our answers to life. It is our, as, the, as somebody says, the B-I-B-L-E is basic instructions before I leave earth. And um, so they are... Uh, there's a lot of wisdom in the Bible. There's no question about that. But I'm not going to have a series where I'm going to preach to you guys. I want to maybe have it more of a counseling thing in one way of just sharing my heart with you. And uh, some may agree with it, some may not. And that's, that's okay. Um, but I've really been burdened over the last several months with what to do with my channel uh, you know there's only let's be honest there's only so much we can do with pipes and tobacco there's oh man there's but oh so many times we can review a particular tobacco well base piper uh, that's what this channel's supposed to be about. That's what the YTPC is, is a pipe community. I, I know that. I know that. But there's so, there's so much more we can 
share while we are having our pipe together or our cigar. And what is one thing that pipes and cigars do? Brings folks together. What else does it do? Start conversing, talking about things, life, whatever. It could be sports, whatever. But it brings us together to talk. And so I want to look at this year, maybe starting a little series. I'll probably look at starting it, getting it going maybe in the next week or so. And uh, you'll know because I'll have it titled um, Senior Moments. <laughs> um and I'm not talking about the forgetful. Well, sometimes that might come in, a senior moment of forgetting what I was going to talk about. But uh, some of you guys have said something about that would be a good thing to do. And, I, you know, I said, man, this is exactly what I was thinking about. But I, I didn't know if I needed to step out or not. Because, like I said, I'm not here to offend anybody. I'm not here to lose my subscribers. Lord knows, I, you know, I've been at it for over two years, guys. And I'm about 4'10 right now in subs, so it's not like I'm busting at the seams, but I can't afford to lose what I got. <laughs> so uh, bear with me. Uh, if you don't like the series, just don't watch it, you know. But um, I'll be doing other things as well, but I will be inter interjecting the series into my channel instead of starting a uh, new channel. So uh, like I said... Hold on. Don't get nervous. We're, I'm not going to bust loose with hellfire and brimstone on you. Look, some of you might need it. <laughs> but I, but I, uh, some of y'all probably saying, well, yeah, I know, I know somebody on here that would need some hellfire and brimstone coming from a preacher. But, um, we're not going to go that route. Okay. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. We'll keep it on the low key. Um, but I will try to share some wisdom. And, and some may come from God's word, you know, so don't run off. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to come in here and share just a few minutes with you of what I'm thinking about a new series. And I appreciate the guys that commented on that. And anybody else can continue to comment. Uh, if you think of something or want to add to this in the ash hole, you know, I'm open for comments. And if you think it might be something good, you can let me know. Uh, but, you know, I know we're having a struggle out here. I tell you, one of the main struggles is... Yep, she's gone out again. We'll put this up. One of the main struggles is... Uh, there we go. One of the main struggles is we're having an attack on men in our United States. And I'm going to flip this around. I only got just a couple of more minutes and I'm going to get off of here. But I'm going to flip this around to this side. Um, we've got a few more. Uh, we got, we've got an attack going on with men today. I mean, it's just on. Men are under attack. And I think we've got a lot of young people and uh, younger adults that might be, you know, having a struggle with finding their way. And uh, so for some of you young pipers, hopefully this series will help. Um, and even the older pipers, you know, if it will help you in life, whatever it may be, hey, praise the Lord, that'll work. You know, that, that's good. But um, that's my thoughts. And if you have any other suggestions, you might want to drop in the ash hole a subject matter. Base piper, let me hear your thoughts on this, or what do you think, coming from an older guy, uh, or, you know, whatever in your life, you know, talk about something on this subject or that subject or whatever you might think we might need to talk about and bring out. Uh, drop it in there. Give me some suggestions. Uh, and we will uh, see where it goes. So anyway, guys, uh, it's been 19 minutes. I want to get off of here. And so, um, listen, until we uh, see you again, relax, have a pipe or cigar and don't forget to count the many blessings of God in your life got a brand new year now 
And uh, God is ready to bless those that want to be blessed. And so uh, don't forget to count all the blessings. Because you know what? We really do have more blessings in our life than we think. Even when things are rough. Reflect on the blessings you have had so far. And what you can get in the future. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to get off of here. And until we see each other again, y'all have a great day. Rumble, have a great day. Thank you, Rumble, for all the followers that I've got uh, so far on Rumble as well. I hadn't forgot you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, I just know Rumble's a different little bit of platform. Um, but I appreciate my followers over there too. So we will talk with you again. You guys take care. Bye-bye.